Welcome to our few moments together on the Pasha. This Shabbos we have the privilege of reading Pasha Shemos, the first of the second books of the Torah. The first Pasha in the second book in the Sefer Shemos is Pasha Shemos. Pasha Shemos, of course, deals with the beginning of the enslavement of the Jewish people, following through the next few sedges, ending up with their redemption and leaving of Mitzrayim, and receiving the Torah and Har Sinai, and then with the instructions to the building of the Mishkan. Moshe Rabbeinu, Moses, our teacher, our Rebbe, he is the one who became the leader of the Jewish people and is going to take the Jewish people out of Egypt. When he comes to the mountain, which Rashi says was Har Sinai, and he comes there and he sees the burning bush, and he turns and looks to see why is it that this unusual sight is taking place, that the sne, the bush, is burning, and the bush does not get consumed. He turns to look, and Hashem appears to him. And he says to him, Altik Rav Halom, don't get any closer. Shal ne'olecha me'al raglecha. Take your shoes off your feet. Of course, the concept is that when you don't have any chatzitza, any imposition, interposition between your feet and the ground, you're able to absorb all the holiness of the ground. But the Ololos Ephraim, Rev Ephraim Lenshitzal, the author of the Clay Yakar, he says a beautiful, beautiful statement in the Ololos Ephraim. He says, when you're wearing shoes, you're able to protect yourselves from the rocks, from the thorns that are on the ground. When one walks barefoot, every rock hurts and you feel it through the soles of your feet. Every thorn sticks and is painful. But when one is wearing shoes, they're protected from the feeling of the pain of walking on the rock or on the thorns or any other ha hazard that may in be in the way. Moshe Rabbeinu is about to lead the Jewish people out of Mitzrayim. Hashem is going to appoint him to be the manhig, the leader of the Jewish people. And he's going to be the one who's going to take them out of Egypt, and in addition, is going to lead them into Har Sinai to get the Torah. And Hashem is telling him, you know, you can easily protect yourself from all the thorns, all the pebbles, all the rocks, all the stumbling blocks that get in your way of being a leader. But that's not what I want. I want a leader who's going to feel every pain, every thorn, every difficulty that the Jewish people face. I need a leader who is going to be sympathetic and empathetic with them. And therefore, before you even begin to ascend to the position of the leader of the Jewish people, take your shoes off your feet, feel the pain of others, and then you can redeem them from Egypt. Then you can grant them the Torah. It's not only for the leaders that this Pesach is written. If the Pasuk is written in the Torah, it's there to teach us a value and a lesson. And it's trying to teach us, you know, if only we could feel through the soles of our being, of our feet, the pain, the pebbles, the troubles, the trials, the thorns, the difficulties that other people go through, if only we could sympathize with them, if only we could no say but all chavero, if only we could bear the burden with our friend, we'd be able to bring the redemption of the Jewish people, just as Moshe Rabbeinu brought the redemption to Klai Yisrael, so would we bring the redemption to Klai Yisrael if we were able to have that sympathy, that feeling. It's a good time in Parsha Shmos to sympathize and empathize with what the other is going through, to be no say. Im ol chaveiro, and bit ol chaveiro, to bear 
the burden of the friend and if, help them out. Pray for them. Offer a tefillah, which helps. Sympathize by showing your concerns. And if the Jewish people can take this value, just as Moshe Rabbeinu led Klal Yisrael, the Jewish people, out of Mitzrayim, and gave us the Torah, so too will we be able to help our brethren bring a redemption and spread the Torah to the entire world. What a great message at the beginning of Chumash Shmos. Have a wonderful Shabbos.